Yo, what is going on you drooling deli birds? Coming at you with some ADP birds gameplay today. Uh, I've made a couple adjustments to the list since I originally played it after it did well. I uh, actually got second place over at the regionals in Australia. Um, I've added in the Feramosa over the Chan uh, Kragon. I was about to say Chandler. Chandler is still in the deck. I took it out for a little bit and I realized how important it is in the deck to beat stuff like Mewtwo Box, uh, like Malamar. So Chandler still in the deck. Uh, Feramosa over Kraken will give us that free retreat cost to work with when we're trying to use our Malamar. Lanas can be pretty nice. Um, besides that, I added in another Poke Gear. Um, and uh, yeah, not too much has changed with the list, just a couple things. Trying to make it a little bit more consistent because I always found the deck to be a little bit more on the clunky side. But overall, it's been still running smooth, going strong. And uh, yeah, I don't think really I have anything else to say on it. Be sure to go ahead and check out the live stream, twitch.tv slash azulgg. I stream every weekday starting at uh, 12 p.m. Eastern. And let's go ahead, let's get into some games. Okay, looks like we hit a mirror match here in this first game. We have a big advantage though. We didn't, we don't have a Victini in play, uh, and our opponent does, uh, and we're going first. So our game plan is definitely going to be be to use ADP's uh, GX attack here, um, and then with the GX attack, we're going to be able to um, knock out one ADP and then one Victini that our opponent has here. I mean, that's our that's our game plan to win the game. Knock out, uh, or I guess it might, it might be a bird or something else. We'll knock out, knock out a tag team and knock out the Victini. That's our game plan. Knock out those two things. I'm gonna bench this other ADP because I don't think it'll really matter that I have it in play. And if we should get reset stamped, I really don't want it back in the deck. Um, except I guess maybe to communication it away. Um, but I don't think that's gonna come up. So oh, the wait and see hammer. Yeah, that is one of the cards I cut from my list, and they have it immediately as a response to us attaching to our ADP. So that is super unfortunate and uh yeah now we're in a little bit of trouble uh, followed by the reset stamp our hand was pretty good our hand has now become pretty bad thankfully for us they only have the coach trainer for two but uh oh my goodness that is quite the turnaround for sure i thought we were in a really good spot it turns out we were not it's going to be attach active and pass over to our opponent uh because our hand is so bad now hand was really good immediate wait and see hammer reset stamp the only thing bad about the turn was the coach trainer for two, and I guess a fire energy to the Victini would have been a little bit better than attaching a water. Um, but we are in major trouble here. I actually, I don't even know if we can win at this point. Uh, that's how bad our hand is. Uh, we can go attach active, great catcher, and then custom catcher to draw some cards. I definitely not ideal, um, but though I don't think we really have a choice. And Mallow and Lana hitting the discard pile for our opponent, getting back the coach trainer. Just need to get rid of Malo and Lana. They can be pretty important in this matchup for sure. Any kind of healing in the tag team matchups is usually a pretty big deal. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to go Great Catcher. Bring up the birds. Um, attach to the active and then custom for three. Or maybe not even, depending on if we can't even play our top deck. Um, but we are in some major trouble, like I'm saying. Major, 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 major trouble. If we thought we had a good start, our opponent had the exact... Are almost the exact counter to our good start there with uh, with their response. So we'll see though. Top deck is a pokey gear. Okay, we're not gonna be as aggressive with everything right now. There's a coach trainer. Okay, we're back online. We'll see what coach gets us and then go from there. Two, three, four. Nothing, still nothing great. Um, I don't even know. They can't attack with either Pokemon next turn, so I guess attaching active seems reasonable. And I kind of want a Choice Helmet, but Choice Helmet shouldn't make a huge difference here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass back over to our opponent. Yeah, still a lot of game to be played. A lot of game left to be played. So we're not we're not out of it yet. Um, our opponent is definitely in a favorable position. Um, but yeah, a lot of game left to be played. We're going to hope we can pull, put something together here over the next couple turns. Because uh, we are definitely in trouble um, for sure. They are at the advantage. They are going to GX attack. They don't. We don't have a Victini in play, but with the way the game is going, I feel like I almost have. I almost have to put a Victini in play at some point. So that's going to be annoying. I kind of want to bring this up to try and trap it, but with how big their hand is, it's probably not going to stay trapped very long. Hopefully, this Poke Gear gets us something good. Nothing great here. Malo and Lana is okay. Go ahead and grab that. Oof. All right. Choice helmet. I think I just have to attach again to the bird. I don't see another another out here. Um, we don't want to attack. We could great catcher, but that seems kind of like a waste. I'm just going to go ahead and pass over to our opponent. And uh, hopefully they don't... Uh, 
I mean, maybe they don't have an energy, but I find that hard to believe as they attach an energy. Um, so I'm not sure what my game plan is from here. If we top deck switch, we can mallow with Lana and then switch back into the active and hit again. But they will be able to knock us out with the bird on their turn. I feel like this one has kind of just slipped away a little bit too too fast from us. We can heal that. Oh, we can heal that up to only 30 damage on us. All right, so it's going to be mallow with Lana for sure next turn. Hopefully, we, I mean, we can't top deck Water Energy and Switch, unfortunately. Those are the two cards we'd like, really, right here, would be Water Energy and Switch. We can't top deck two cards, though, so that's not possible. They're loading up their bird. We definitely want to get this bird to the bench uh, for safekeeping. Uh, probably get rid of, well, get rid of the Power Plant for sure, and then maybe one of the Energies. We'll see what we top deck. It is a Switch. Okay, but we can't attack because we don't have the Water Energy. So we got the Switch, but no Water Energy. Still can't attack. All right. Uh, Malon Lana for sure. Gonna get rid of Power Plant. I kind of want to hold on to the switch here. Probably gonna get rid of the Fire Energy. Yeah, I think Fire Energy has to go here. Send up an ADP. Um, and I think we just have to pass. I, I like don't see a better... I mean, we could play the Great Catcher, bring up this, and then Custom Catcher for two. Uh, it just feels so bad that I don't want to do it. I'm gonna attach a Lightning here and pass over to our opponent. We'll maybe have to use Custom Catcher's Starting next turn, we'll have to use a Custom Catcher, which is, uh, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. And I think we're going to have to use a Custom Catcher next turn, probably, uh, to start drawing cards. We'll see. We'll see what our opponent actually has here. If we can top deck a Water Energy, um, that'd be a start. Maybe top deck a Greens, um, get us an Energy Spinner plus something else to get moving here. Um, like I said, I did add a little bit, a little bit extra consistency cards to the deck to try and make it a little bit more consistent. I went up to like third Pokey Gear. I forget the other change I made, but uh, Wait and See Hammer for Pokey Gear was definitely one of them. Uh, I wasn't finding the Wait and See Hammer to be super useful. Our opponent, however, um, getting a lot of value out of it um, in this game. Turn one Wait and See Hammer to slow us completely down. Um, the real killer was the reset stamp though, for sure. All right, a Water Energy top deck here would be superb. It would allow us to attach. We could switch, use Trinity Burn, and start doing something, man. All right, there's a Caitlyn and Cynthia. That is a start. I think I'm going to get rid of... I need to keep the switch if I want to attack this turn, which I ideally do want to do. If I'm going to Caitlyn and Cynthia, get rid of maybe a custom catcher uh, instead. Um, like this. I think I'll grab the Mallow and Lana, because I think healing is probably going to be a little bit more important, but maybe not. We did whiff. Uh, maybe I should have just taken the coach trainer, because it looks like we're not doing anything this turn. Uh, uh, doing anything this turn again. Uh, we have Mal and Lana, but uh, that's not going to do a whole ton for us. It's just going to be another pass. No water energy to work with once again. Yeah, I probably should have just taken the coach trainer. Now that I'm kind of rethinking, I'm like, trying, they're going to start to be able to hit for 240, which kind of uh, negates the healing that Mal and Lana can do. So it kind of makes no sense to take Mal and Lana here, actually. Coach from our opponent. We know they have a great catcher in hand. This is the turn where we pretty much have to top deck a reset stamp. Um... If not, we just kind of lose. Um, so on this next turn, we pretty much have to get Reset Stamp. Um, <clears throat> not top deck. I guess we could find one, but we have to play a Reset Stamp, basically. If we don't play a Reset Stamp, we will just lose. There's an Ultimate Ray. 180. So I'm going to send up uh, this bird, I guess. Unfortunately, we can't set up the second bird. Yeah, we're going to be in trouble because of that as well. Uh, yeah, send up this bird. See what we draw. Okay, so we're gonna have to go, um, we can go bench, great catcher, switch, custom for two. We can go bench this guy, great catcher, get rid of these two. Unfortunately, the Malo Mana. But I guess I'd want to find a greens this turn anyways. Bring up this guy, I guess. Uh, switch, custom catcher for two, hoping for a greens into a reset stamp. We found a water energy at the very least. That is something technically. Um, I'll play the energy spinner. I don't even know if I'm going to get anything though. I'll get one of the waters. And ultimate ray for 150. I'm going to take three energy out of our deck here. Um, I can put them here. Um, so what we can do, I guess, here is we can put these energies here. And then we can 
I will retreat this guy. We'll attack with this bird with Trinity Burn. We still need a reset stamp on our next turn, but we can go Trinity Burn, and then they hit us. And then we GX attack with Sky Legends. And then we get this one of these lightnings back out for this bird. And then we Trinity Burn knock out the other one. But there is a Mallow and Lana heal, so that kind of disrupts our game plan just a little bit. Just a little bit, actually. We can still make it work. We can still go... Uh, we need a reset stamp off the top still. We need reset stamp for greens off the top. Trinity burn this guy, 180. Uh, oh, now we can't do enough because they're going to prevent the damage from... We'll figure it out So We'll figure it out. We'll put a game plan together. We're still alive here. That's all that really counts. That's all that really matters. There's a greens. Gonna get ourselves that reset stamp. Gonna get ourselves a... Could just hard retreat. Seems fine to me. Then our, our game plan for the next... We're gonna hit for our 120. Um, is the Faba necessary? If we hit for 120, or 110, it'll be 180. Uh, we'll still be 10 damage short because the damage, the GX attack is 110. Um, shoot. That sucks. Um, we should need another greens then. I don't know if there's any pieces in here that'll actually be able to win us the game then. Um, let's take a tag call. I'm kind of lost here on what could actually ever win us the game. Let's take another greens. Let's go like this. We'll figure it out. Attach here. Reset stamp down to two. Got that part out of the way. We can hard retreat to this bird. We can use Trinity Burn for 210. And then we're just uh, living, on a, living on a prayer. I don't know. Uh, Trinity Burn 210, which is only going to be 180, unfortunately, because of uh, oh, the... Uh, no oh, good. Oh no, if we do GX attack, no, yeah, if we GX attack, it would go to 290. We'd be 10 damage short. If they just didn't have the choice helmet, I think we'd be in a good spot here. Because of the choice helmet, uh, we're not quite as good of a spot as we potentially could be. And now we're in trouble. If we had another custom catcher in our deck. We could double custom the Victini, and then Sky Legends, these three, and then, I don't even know. Do something else, then GX attack. Now we wouldn't want to do anything. All right, greens. I don't think there's an out. Um, gonna get a, a tag call and a Faba. The Faba doesn't do anything. The choice helmet. If they just didn't have the choice helmet, we would be in business, I think. Um, well, I guess I need this. Let's get these two. Tag call, energy spinner. I'm gonna go with the uh, Sky Legends GX. Gonna go ping, ping, ping. There we go. 110 to the three dudes. Um, but I think it's a little bit too little, too late. Um, like I said, the choice helmet. Even if we had fobbed it, uh, we'd be at 290 on the bird. They're going to hit us here for 210. And even though we're going to get a knockout, it's not going to be quite enough. And we're going to end up losing on the following turn. If we don't just lose this turn to our opponents. I don't know, double custom catcher or great catcher. Well, we got it close from, uh, from the start that we had, uh, which was like really good our start opened up really good our opponent had the reset stamp and it got really really bad um we were just one choice helmet away from not being in play to actually being able to win the game uh, if this hadn't been in play would hit him harder 60 more damage knock out this bird and we would be in a position where this is our active against uh two damaged tag teams that at one shot so we would have actually ended up in a pretty good spot had they not drawn like double custom here or something which i guess they could still draw off of this galen and cynthia Double customs, or even just one custom, or just the great catcher. I don't think they've even used their great catcher yet. Uh, great catcher also just wins them the game. So um, there's the great catcher. We managed to get it back though, pretty close. So I'm still pretty happy with the end result here, even though we are gonna lose. Um, played out the best to what we were given, and it just wasn't quite enough this time. We're gonna take it out. All right, I think we're either up against a Pidgey Blounds or a. I got no idea. We're gonna find out uh, together. Gonna use tag call, get these two guys. Unfortunately, we don't have two ADPs, which I think would be most ideal here for sure. Bench an ADP, attached to it. I'm gonna play the Poke Gear. If we do just get like a coach trainer, no coach here. If we did just get like a coach trainer, I think I would have play, rather played that instead. Uh, play Green's Exploration here. We need an energy spinner for next turn, as well as maybe just another tag call for the future. Um, take the Pokecom instead. Let's go Energy Spinner, Pokecom, and I will just go ahead and pass over to my opponent. Don't wanna play any of them, just in case our opponent does reset stamp us, we would lose the cards from the deck for for good. I'd rather have them in the deck 
then uh, lose them. Yeah, we'll see what our opponent's playing and then decide how to go from there. Uh, that is the Victini Prism start, which means it is probably Ability Zard, Baby Blacephalon. Now it's Baby Blacephalon Pidgey, or is it Baby Blacephalon Greens? We, we have to wait and find out. Um, yeah, one of those two, almost certainly. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see how good of a start they got. There is a Doll that can be played in either of the builds. Go in immediately to retreat to the Doll. <clears throat> and reset stamp like I said might have the resets or they might go for the reset stamp but they did go for the reset stamp now we're definitely in a worse spot than we were not too much worse just a little bit worse all right um gonna get rid of the power plant here I think get three cards get our greens back have a water no switch we want the metal instead though i think so i'm gonna go ahead and energy spinner grab the metal yeah no switch but we could just go into ultimate ray next turn instead kind of just gonna go ahead and wait <clears throat> and see what our opponent does and then once again kind of just decide from there i mean if they are playing pidgey blounds probably do want to use the trinity burn as opposed to the altered creation or we could because then we can go like reset stamp plus uh sky legends and then wipe out their whole field which is pretty cool um yeah, just gonna wait and see what our opponent's doing. If they just go past next turn, I think I will just ultimate. I will ultimate Ray. Set up for that. There is an Elms lecture, so it's almost certainly. Yep, yeah, Pidgey Blounds. It is. There are the birds. We could even double custom next turn if we wanted to to make sure we take a knockout. And you could even get rid of our opponent's Victini, and then next turn, as soon as the turn after that, go into the Sky Legends, um, GX attack. So we're into greens. We're gonna get ourselves a switch, Bard and a tag call maybe actually i don't even know what i want besides the switch <clears throat> uh, i'm gonna put the water here ultimate ray which is good does anything else matter we have what a greens and a coach trainer in hand i might just take a tag call to open up more options uh it doesn't give us a whole ton more options um take a power plant so that way i can put that in play when they put a thing in play seems okay i guess sure go like this i'm gonna go ahead switch to the bench guy attach to him i will double custom up the victini or should i get rid of nah because i always have this guy to shuffle back into the deck yeah bring the victini up here and then ultimate ray <clears throat> knock it out don't have to worry about the victini anymore all the energy that they have in the deck is the energy they can work with that is it nothing else Fully load up this bird on the bench, and we're getting pretty much set up, ready to go. And yeah, next turn, I can ultimate ray again to another bird, and we'll almost just kind of wait for them to knock out my ADP. And then once they do knock out my ADP, we'll go uh, reset stamp, Sky Legends, GX attack, knock out three birds, go from there. We can double custom again with greens actually on our following turn, and then we'll take another knockout, and then we will Sky Legends. But I could just give it to the Poke Doll right now while I can. Well, it's like pretty much for free. Uh, just get rid of the Poke Doll, not have to worry about it later on, uh, and do that instead with the Ultimate Ray. Set up the second bird, of course. Um, <clears throat> I guess the only thing I'd be scared of here is if our opponent did somehow one-shot our ADP, but I think that's pretty much, it's, it's pretty close to impossible. Um, I guess it is technically possible for them to one-shot our ADP, just very unlikely. Um, yeah, very unlikely at this point that they will one-shot our ADP with how small of a hand our opponent does have right here very unlikely very unlikely so we're just gonna go ahead and play like they're not gonna get it there's another pokey doll to deal with so that is no fun we might just go ahead and sky legends this turn knock out the birds um or i could go greens double custom knock out the brown and then we'll be one step closer we could also just ultimate ray knock out the active because our opponent probably can't knock anything of ours out next turn so i'm just gonna go coach Tra coach trainer knock out the active here i actually i think <clears throat> bench another bird catch a lightning uh, ultimate ray knockout that all gonna get ourselves a water fire and a lightning uh a water fire and a metal put them all on this bird the light the one that already has the lightning um and then i guess we could have sniped all the birds but then i still have to get through these dolls anyways which is like makes me a little bit nervous getting through these dolls but probably getting through the dolls is not quite as bad as i think it is okay they're sending up the blound here so they're feeling uh, they're just gonna have the Blown here, so they're feeling confident about getting that knockout this turn. I would have to assume that's the only reason to really send up the Blown here, is that you think you can get the knockout. Um, so we'll see. Let's see if they can get it. There's a Flint, so that's a good start for them. We'll see if, what else they have in their hand. They only have two more Airmails to work with here. 
um, or they will just be giving up a prize card in the Blacephalon, which I think is how this is going to end up going. They're playing confidently, but I feel like the, uh, the Blacephalon is just going to get knocked out here. We'll see. There's another airmail uh, for nothing. Like, they're not going to get... They could Blazer, I guess. I guess Blazer is something that's always, like, kind of reasonable, especially if they have a lot of, uh, what's it called, prize energy. But no, there's just going to be the concession. A little bit too slow from the Baby Blounds, and we'll take a dub over them. Uh... Despite getting that, despite our opponent actually having a reset stamp in there and actually using it on us in the early turns, didn't slow us down too much, even though our opening hand was super good. Uh, still end up with the dub here over the Baby Blounds. Against the Malamar in this one, Malamar is a pretty good matchup for us. Um, so we're able to set up our. What do we want to set up here? We want to set up ADP. Turn two, we want a GX attack. Turn three, we want an Ultimate Ray. Um, currently not set up to be able to GX attack on turn two. I might just Caitlyn and Cynthia get rid of this. Well, we could actually greens. No, we can greens, right? Yeah, we can greens. Uh, double energy spinner. Then we can get water metal. Yeah, and then go from there. Sounds good to me. Get the two energy spinners. Go ahead, use one of them. Get ourselves a metal energy. Goes to the hand. Bench the ADP. Attach the metal. I'm not going to bench this guy yet. Don't want him to get Distortion Dork for no reason. And then pass over to our opponent. Yeah, once we GX attack, we can also use Flare to knock out Jirachi, which will actually, in this game, looks like we're pretty much lined up to set up that play at um, at some point here for sure. Yeah. So it's looking good. It's looking good. Energy Spinner, going to give us Water Energy. Pokey Gear, going to look for the Coach Trainer. That's like the most ideal. Oh, there is the Dusk Noir. All right. So we're going to look to use. Uh, I mean, we'll see if they GX attack once we GX attack. And if they do, we're going to look to use the Malon Lana to remove the effect of that GX attack. Uh, but we'll see what our opponent's got going on here. There's a Mimikyu that does absolutely nothing. Looks like they just wanted the extra draw off the Lily here in this one. Ditto coming down. Not really a big deal. I mean, it's just like another NK. It's like, eh, if they get two NK turn one, that's like not that ridiculous. That's kind of what you expect. Um, yeah, we're all set up here for the GX attack turn two. That's all that really matters. They're going to go ahead and Great Catcher us. I guess that means we get to save a switch. It looks like they were thinking Victory Signs was, uh, they think Victory Signs is going to be my game plan here, but not even close. <laughs> my game plan was definitely just to use Alter Creation as soon as possible. So I'm fine with this. I'm going to go ahead and tag call, get a another bird, get that Mallow and Lana that I was talking about. So like line up the Poke Gear to have a higher chance to hit a uh, Coach Trainer. I'll go ahead and energy spinner here, I guess. I'm thinking about saving the energy spinner, but I don't really mind using it right here uh, for the energy that we have left in the deck. And then, yeah. Coach Trainer, obviously the best one. Not going to hit it. Going to go with the Cynthia and Caitlyn instead. Get rid of one of these lightnings, I believe. Yeah, get rid of a lightning. Get back to greens. Draw some cards. Got a water to throw down. Throw down a water. Going to go ahead and uh, communication away this to grab ourselves the Feramosa. Um, which we can utilize as a pivot throughout the game. Not gonna, eh, I'll throw down the bird now, yeah, because if they do reset stamp us, uh, and it's very possible they play reset stamp because they do play the Trevenant and Dusknor uh, Pokemon card. Oh, we don't have a fire energy for our victory sign reset up because they do discard our energy. I forgot that they discard our energy with the GX attack last turn. Um, they do discard our energy with the GX attack. Um, they're not going to get the knockout because we are just going to switch to the Faramosa, but we don't have a fire energy as a follow-up. So I should have gone with Caitlyn and Cynthia first and then saved the energy spinner because I did actually draw into a water energy. Um, so I should have gone, gone about it like that. Maybe they'll whiff the uh, attack here and we'll be just fine, but uh, they probably won't. And then we're actually going to be in a little bit of trouble because of my, uh, my mistakes here. Uh, but yeah, I should have played Caitlyn and Cynthia first. <clears throat> and then after I used Caitlyn and Cynthia... Use the energy spinner for whatever energy I thought I would need. So if I whiff the water energy, then I go get the water energy so I can alter creation. If I hit the water energy, then I just save the energy spinner so that way next turn I can go switch, get a fire, victory sign. I guess they don't have three energy quite yet on the Trevnor, um, but they're getting close. Uh, it's getting scary. There's the third. They can't move the Jirachi yet, but there's a Lily for six into a Stellar So if I had to bet, I would bet that they're going to be able to get into the Trevnor this turn, use the Pale Moon GX. If they whiff, we'll be in a great spot, but... Uh, yeah, I got my money on them to be able to actually pull it off this turn. We'll see. There's a communication, so it had to be in the six cards off the Lily. The communication not going to be able to make them move their Jirachi, unless they have some weird evolution for Ditto that does allow them to move the Jirachi. I can't think of anything, but there might be something out there that would allow them. Nope, just another Malamar. That's what 
that's what I expected, but uh, I guess you never really know for sure. There's the Evolve, and do they have anything else to combo? Or will we actually be able to use Ultimate Ray? If we get to use the Ultimate Ray, I think we're in a ridiculously good spot. Uh, no, there's the Escape Ward. All right. So they are going to be able to <clears throat> Pale Moon GX here. I wouldn't imagine they would ever Night Watch. Yep, Pale Moon GX discards our energy. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get lucky on Top Deck Fire Energy here. <clears throat> Not quite. Gonna have to be greens. Grab myself a... Uh, Oh man, like I said, I need a fire energy now. There is three fire in the deck, one metal, one water, only one lightning. Uh, we have two water to work with though, so we'll be in a good spot there. Just need to get into it. Uh, I'm gonna grab a tag call and a... Hmm. Interesting. Tag call. another greens maybe I don't I don't know I don't know what else to grab here I'm just trying I know I know what I need that's what I'm trying to figure out help me figure out what works best to, to get me there um how about nope I'm stuck on this one guys uh psh, with another greens why not I'm gonna go ahead and tag call myself into Caitlin and Cynthia and an ADP I'm going to switch into the Aramosa. I'm going to bench the ADP. No, I think we'll just hold the ADP for now. Attach water to ADP and then pass over to our opponent. Hopefully the Caitlyn and Cynthia sticks in our hand. If not, hopefully the Greens does. And then we can get another tag call, get it again. Or if we just top deck a fire energy, that would be most ideal. Top decking fire energy, that's all we really need. We're definitely just gonna send up the Victini next turn and then we'll just attach the lightning to this guy and hope to find the metal on the following turn. We only have one metal left in the deck though. So that gets a little bit risky um, or a little bit you know, unfavorable to actually hit it. There's the night watch from our opponent knockout. We'll see what they pull. Um, all right, lightning and ADP. That's fine. We kept the most important card, which was the Caitlyn and Cynthia. Gonna send up Victini. Hope for a fire energy top deck. Not quite. Gonna go ahead and Caitlyn and Cynthia. Get rid of the power plant. Grab ourselves the greens out of the discard pile. And then we will draw three. No, we did get the metal though. No, what's it called, but we did get the metal, which is just as good actually in this situation. And we'll go ahead and pass back over to our opponent. Our one of metal, we didn't hit one of the four fires. We hit the one of metal, which is just about the same here and will be more than enough to get us back into this game for sure. We're actually, I'm feeling pretty good now. Uh, we should be okay. Still a big threat from the Night Watch, taking away all of our good cards every single turn. But as long as they don't do that, as long as this lightning energy sticks around for us, uh, we'll be in a good spot for sure. We'll definitely be in a good spot. I don't know, yeah, I'm looking for a coach trainer off the pokey gear. There's a great catcher, so that's super annoying. Gonna bring up our ADP. Uh, we do have the Malo and Lana, but I don't wanna use the Malo and Lana. They might actually go after our, yeah, they're gonna go actually after, I was gonna, they might go after our bird actually and just try and trap it. A little bit greedy, I think overall. Definitely a little bit of a greedy play, but uh, we should be fine. We have plenty of switch cards. They actually can't take away all of our switch cards out of our hand. Um, got rid of our choice helmet, which is a little, they got rid of our energy, which is the big card here. Top deck a fire though, so we are okay. Um, I could mellow in Lana, but that's a little bit slow actually. So I'm actually gonna go greens to grab tag call to get the other bird out of the deck. Um, and I'm also gonna grab the uh, choice helmet here. Yeah, I think choice helmet's pretty good. Going to tag call, get the bird and the ADP into the hand, beef up the hand a little bit. Um, try and make it a little bit less likely our opponent takes stuff away from it. Gonna go ahead and set up the other bird here. Switch back into the ADP. Um, choice helmet the ADP. And then ultimate ray, 180. Gonna get three energy for the now clean bird, the fresh bird, over here. And uh, all right, looking pretty good. We're gonna two shot this guy. That'll get us four prize cards. And then we should knock out anything else on our opponent's field and we'll win the game. A uh, Little bit of a struggle in the opening and the mid game. Um, up until this point, finally got here. Now we're in a good spot. And that's why the Malamar matchup is so good. We've done nothing, basically no damage for the first five turns, maybe more. Oh, there's a Mallow and Lana. Not that big of a deal. This guy can still get the knockout, but we don't actually have the energy for it. So actually we're missing the energy for this right now to actually get this knockout. Otherwise we'd be in a really good spot. Um, so top decking energy, definitely ideal here. 
Uh, if we top deck an energy, I would e I wouldn't even mind hard retreating because I don't think they have a way to one shot this at all in their deck. We do see that they play metal energy, which means ultra necrozma. However, they do not have anything to go. They don't have enough Malamars to set it up in one turn and one shot us. So I'm not worried about that. But I wouldn't mind uh, hard retreating the active if I top deck an energy. We'll see what they grab here. They grabbed two of my best cards out of my hand there. That's a little bit annoying. I'm gonna go ahead and top deck a power plant. That's not gonna do a whole ton. So I guess it is just gonna be the ultimate ray here, just to hit him hard. We're gonna get one energy for this and one energy for our Victini. Last two energy in deck. Lightning energy here. And then we'll put our fire energy on our Victini. Now they only have 30 HP left. We can actually take that knockout with the Victini, which is a little bit more ideal than taking the knockout with the uh, Moltres, uh, Articuno, Zapdos, and they actually can't even one-shot our ADP. Our ADP is going to live to the next turn. Um, there's nothing they can do about it. I don't think, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess if they had Faba, no, even Faba, they would only hit up to 170. Uh, but I guess they do get the knockout through the spell tag damage, which is a little bit annoying. So I guess, oof, yeah, there's nothing we can do about that either. They're going to, when they take the cards out of our hand, we're not going to be able to use Malo and Lana. I guess if we top decked a tag call and tag call for Cynthia Caitlin and an ADP, we could then Mallow and Lana. If they only if they take away our ADP and our power plant, and then we top deck a tag call, a tag call for Caitlin and Cynthia and the ADP back, and then Mallow and Lana heal this guy, use Flare for the knockout. Um, but I guess it could still get pretty close actually. If they have another great catcher, uh, well they're down two great catchers. They probably don't play three great catchers, so we should be safe here. We should be pretty much 100% safe here. We're gonna draw four prizes here. And then uh, I think we'll be in a good spot to win the game. Maybe we even get really lucky and we top deck a um, Faba here. Get rid of the, the spell tag. Nope. Reset stamp. Not going to be necessary, I don't think. I think I'm just going to... Hard retreating almost doesn't make a difference here because he's just going to put the spell tag damage here to knock it out. And then we're going to push up Victini no matter what. So I'm going to throw this in play. And I am just going to ultimate ray for the knockout. <laughs> Uh, if they do play a third spell tag, I guess they got us. Um, so we're just hoping they don't play a third spell tag here. Going to go ahead and get ourselves four prize cards to work with. Uh, very possible we get reset stamped here. They are playing a uh, Trevnor build. So sometimes they play reset stamps or judge. I mean, judge wouldn't be too big of an impact on our hand. We'll have a five card hand. They'll put it from five to four. The reset stamp would be a little bit annoying from five to uh, two. Um, so the reset stamp would be annoying. So what's it called? Not quite as uh, as annoying. Got ourselves some cards. None of these are particularly good. We are looking for a greens exploration to try and get ourselves double custom catcher so we can avoid the one play they can do is they can put a spell tag on Blacephalon. Oh no, they can't fireworks bomb for the full effect because we went to two prize cards left. Never mind. Um, yeah, so I have no idea what their game plan is here unless they play a third great catcher and then it could definitely be uh, Ultra Necrozma. So double second recharge, attach the metal, uh, knock out my Moltres. They could also, yeah, it would have to involve another great catcher. They would have to play a third great catcher, basically, here. Um, but if they don't, I think we got this one locked up. I doubt they play a third great catcher. They were definitely greedy with their early great catchers and uh, gonna be punishing them, punishing them here in the late game where they would definitely be most useful for our opponent, the great catchers would be. No great catchers to be found. So I think we have this one right where we want it. We'll see if our opponent's got anything else on this next turn, but uh, I can't think of anything they could possibly do. Maybe they've got another surprise. I'm already <clears throat> already a little surprised by the list that they're running right now. So there's already some unique stuff in the list right now. they got the Metal Energy, like I said, Ultra Necrozma. Play Mallow and Lana, which is annoying early on. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if they had another thing that I wasn't expecting. And uh, makes it a little bit harder for us to potentially close out this game on the next turn. But we'll see. Still are wished. They did set up Baby Blacephalon. I don't think they realized that we were going down to four prizes instead of three on our last turn. I think that kind of hit them this turn. There's a switch to the Baby Blacephalon. And I don't know what that does for them. We'll see. They could Fireworks Bomb, but we do just win next turn. We do draw two prize cards for each of our knockouts we take on our opponent's active Pokemon. I don't think switching to this guy is going to do anything. There's a Communication gonna get rid of the ink a it did have a pretty big hand to work with so they had a lot of options for game plans Are they gonna be able to pull anything together that'll actually be able to get them a win here though i don't see it maybe they have something i don't i'm not thinking of though or like i said they've already got a couple things that are throwing me off a little bit the malo and lana we know they play ultra necrozma uh those are two things you don't commonly see in um 
Malamar currently. Uh, not the most ridiculous things to see, just not as common. There's the distortion door. They're hitting us with the well played. So I feel like, yep, there's the concession and we'll end up taking a dub over the Malamar. Fairly favorable matchup and that's pretty much why. We did nothing for like the five, first five turns besides Alter Creation. Still able to come back and win the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give a like. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Have a good day. Thanks for watching and peace.